Well, here is our next team. They represent Canada. 16-year-old Caroline Kravitz and 17-year-old Jacob Stark. First Junior Grand Prix event. They're coached by Paul McIntosh and Tyler Morris. They don't have, obviously, a season's best score yet. They'll get it here right now. They'll skate to human, and people are people. Caroline Kravitz turned 16 last Thursday and partner Jacob Stark, 17 years old. And Ted couldn't find out much about the team. I gather this is likely to have been their first junior se season together. I think they were novices in yeah. Canada last year. So huge step up. And I them. do want to mention their coach, Paul McIntosh, started out Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Yeah. And a number, a number of other great Canadian ice dance teams. He's been really an anchor in, in this discipline in Canada for many, many years and has done such a wonderful job and you can see him starting another team here. So congratulations to Paul and Tyler and we wish them the very best as they move forward. Yeah, and kind of an unsung hero obviously as we watched the Rocker Foxtrot, the first of the Rocker Foxtrot, you know, Virtue Mori, the most decorated Olympians in figure skating and the coach starts them off, doesn't get to necessarily attain all that accolades for it so great to see that Paul continue Paul and Tyler continuing to develop other teams to oh achieve yeah that. I don't have the whole I, list in front of me can't remember them all but I know they're quite significant in Canada and so this is a coach that means so much to the discipline of ice dance in Canada and it's important for people to know that mm. you can see there obviously through the twizzles just a little far apart but to be expected somewhat for a team in their first season as juniors, but 
got to uh, relish and acknowledge the total embracement again of the 80s theme with costume yeah. and hair. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> That's more acceptable, you know, like during the 80s and the <laughs> 70s when I lived, a lot of the costumes or the outfits just were not acceptable. <laughs> At least, at least for me. I'm, like, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> so that was quite okay. Yeah. Total free reign on the colors and yeah, all sorts. The wilder, the better in those days. Yeah. <laughs> and interesting, Jacob List playing hockey is one of his hobbies. So it, great to see. And I, I yeah. say that. You know, it's nice to see the skaters still being able to list other hobbies because to compete at this level as Caroline and Jacob are doing has to take up so much of their time. Wonderful to know that they have a support system that facilitates other hobbies in addition to the ice dance. Yeah, I mean, I skated, I skated and played hockey for many, many years. It's hard to do that nowadays, but great to see that. As we take a look at the scores, 45.81 for Caroline and Jacob. That'll put them currently into sixth place. Experience gained. A new experience for this team.